in the fall of every year, Apple, Google, Samsung, and the rest reveal their latest devices. But during the fall of this year, there is something remarkable going on. Google revealed their Pixel 6, the first phone to have separated chip dedicated for AI. Apple also has what they call it a neural engine in their devices chips, which is dedicated also for AI. Nowadays, we start to see AI in every electronic device around us, from self-driving car to Siri. All of them are using AI to optimize their services. Even YouTube that you are watching now is using AI in order to suggest for you videos according to your preferences. So let's jump into it. Welcome to Game Changer Tech. Well, to clear things up, let's start by giving a definition for the AI. AI or artificial intelligence is a wide ranging branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that are typically required human intelligence. Well, AI is a new evolution that could fundamentally change the life on our planet. Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize every aspect of daily life, work, mobility, medicine, and communication. But the question is, will it make our life better? Well, we will talk about this very point later on in this video. But right now, let's see how the AI works. Now, the best way to understand the artificial intelligence works is to understand the subdomains of AI and how the, each of these subdomains could be applied into the industry. And those subdomains are machine learning, which means teaching a machine how to make inferences and decisions based on the past experience. It identifies patterns, analyses past data to infer the meaning of these data points to reach a possible conclusion without having to involve human experience. Deep learning. It's a machine learning technique. It teaches a machine to process input through layers in order to classify, infer, and predict the outcome. Neural networks works on the similar principle of a human neural cells. They are a series of algorithms that capture the relationship between various underlying variables and process the data as the human brain does. Natural language processing is a science of reading, understanding, interpreting a language by a machine. Once a machine understands what the user intends to communicate, it responds accordingly. Computer vision algorithms try to understand an image by breaking down an image and study different parts of the object. This helps the machine classify and learn from a set of images to make a better output decisions based on previous observations. Cognitive computing algorithms try to mimic a human brain by analyzing text, speech, image objects in a manner that a human does and tries to give a desired output. Now, we used to talk about the pros and cons of any new technology every time in our videos, but for the AI, it is a little bit different. We better have to call it advantages and risks of AI, since AI has some serious impact on our life. Elon Musk shed the light on the risks of AI in one of his talks to the audience. He said, I am really quite close to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. It is capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. And even Steve Hawking told an audience in Portugal that AI impact could be cataclysmic unless its rapid development is strictly and ethically controlled unless we learn how to prepare for and avoid the potential risks. AI could be the worst event in the history of our civilization. Now the main risks of AI are increase the unemployment rate since AI robots will replace the human in the work field. As AI robots became smarter, same tasks will require fewer humans. Weapons automatization now the bigger question is what if AI decided to launch nukes or biological weapons or what if enemy manipulated data to return AI guided missiles to whence they came. AI may create an unintentional conflict between countries. 
market volatility caused by algorithmic high frequency trading. Deep fakes, which is a family of algorithms capable of producing realistic fake images. Deep fakes appearing in news feeds can become very dangerous if their proportions reach a certain threshold. In this case, it will be impossible to detect what information is real and what is not. Unclear legal responsibility. If an AI system is designed with a fuzzy algorithms and machine learning allows the decision making to refine itself, then who is legally responsible for the outcome? Is it the company, the programmer, or the system? This risk is not theoretical. In 2018, a self-driving car hit and killed a pedestrian. In that case, the car's human backup driver was not paying attention and was held responsible when the AI system failed. Algorithmic bias caused by bad data. AI system learn from the data set on which they were trained, and if the data was bad, it could influence system decision making. Well, despite the all mentioned risks, AI is still important for us because it can give enterprises insight into their operations that they may not have been aware of previously, and because in some cases, AI can perform tasks better than humans, particularly when it comes to repetitive, detail-oriented tasks like analyzing large numbers of legal documents to ensure relevant fields are filled in properly. AI tools often complete job quickly with relatively fewer errors. This has helped to fuel an explosion in efficiency and opened the door to entirely new business opportunities for some larger enterprises. Prior to the current wave of AI, it would have been hard to imagine using computer software to connect riders to taxis. But today, Uber has become one of the largest companies in the world by doing just that. It utilizes sophisticated machine learning algorithm to predict when people are likely need rights in a certain areas. As another example, Google has become one of the largest players for a range of online services by using machine learning to understand how people use their services and then improve them. In 2017, company CEO announced that Google would operate as an AI-first company. Today, largest and most successful enterprises have used AI to improve their operation and gain advantage over their competitors. Going back to the question that we asked at the beginning, whether the AI will make our life better or not. Well, we believe that if we could control and mitigate the risks that we already discussed, AI would make our life much better. By taking the advantages of AI, our future will look flourishing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.